Hello, this is Ashi from Crafting with Ashi and welcome to this video. This is the card we're going to make and it says Christmas greetings from the gang and it has a little surprise. You pull this up and there's the gang saying hello to everyone and then it closes, it's a magnetic closure and then you still have the inside of the card where you can put um, a piece of whisper white and write your message or stamp or whatever you want to do. So let's get started. Let me show you what you're going to need. You're going to need a piece of shaded spruce. This is your standard A6 card base. That's an A4 sheet cut in half and then folded in half. Then you're going to need a piece of our designer series paper and this is the wrapped in plaid designer series paper and this measures um, 14.85 centimeters by um, 11 and a half centimeters but don't worry the measurements will be on my blog and then you need some scraps of whisper white and um, our gold foil sheet so let's get started the stamps that we're going to be using today is one I've used before it's called Christmas crowd and we're using this wonderful stamp here and this greeting here okay and we're going to be coloring in with our blends so I'm going to stamp it in memento so let's just ink up our stamp get it nice and inky now I'm going to stamp it in the Stamper Artist mainly because firstly it needs a big block and secondly if I make a mess um, I can re-stamp it so if it doesn't stamp very well the first time for some reason or I want it to be really nice and black I can re-stamp it like there I wanted a bit more black and I didn't get it very good there here so I'm going to re-stamp I do know that this ink pad needs to be re-inked but I still got to find the, the re-ink I actually do it and saying it needs being saying it needs to be done and actually doing it are two different things in this house. I don't know about your household, but in, certainly in mine, unfortunately, it is. But there you go. Beauty of the Stamper Artist has fixed that problem for me. Okay, so let me just clean that up using my stamp and chamois so I can put it away nicely. And the stamp and chamois is a marvelous tool, it really makes stamping so much easier especially stamping on the go because you don't need to take your whole scrub you can just put your stamp and chamois into your dvd case and sling it in your bag and off you go so really useful tool okay so let's put this back in here so we don't lose it and now we want our sentiment which was this one christmas greetings from the gang so let's stamp this while we've got our stamp or artist out so i'm just going to put it somewhere in the center i'm not too concerned because i am going to um cut everything else out with our stitched rectangular framelits so i'm just going to stamp this one with shaded spruce ink and as you can see it's much more juicy than my memento pad make sure this is in the corner and then down and just give it a bit of a press keep your fingers crossed yay perfecto so now can put that aside let me just give this a clean i tend to be like this i like to clean up as i go along i find that it just makes life for me much more easy than having a huge job at the end which just feels overwhelming i don't know what you're like let me know do you clean up as you go along or do you prefer to um do it all in one go at the end so let's set that aside and bring our friends back in here and as I said we're going to color them in using the blends so let me show you what I'm going to use now I'm going to color these in very much the same way as I did before so I linked the video before I did one called Christmas crowd Christmas card and I'll link it in the description box below and I'll show, I also colored it with the blends and it shows everything let me tell you the colours I've used. I've used pumpkin pie, light and dark. I've got the light black. I've obviously got the colour lifter for any mistakes, any problems. Um, I've got light and dark shade spruce, light and dark real red, um, light and dark 
what do you call this colour, um, crumb cake, light and dark, soft suede, and then I've got the ivory as well. So those are all my colours, so I'll set those aside. And I'm going to fast forward now through the colouring. So a colouring is done, as you can see. So now I'm going to cut this out of our stitched rectangular framelits, as well as this and this piece here. So let me get the framelits out. Ooh. Everything's flying everywhere. Rectangular stitched framelits, as you can see here. As you can see, you get a ton of them. Okay, let me zoom you back out a little bit. It's easier for me to stay in shot then. Okay. And what did I use? Let's see. I used, yes, that one for there. And then I used this one for my piece of um, gold foil. I used the second largest one, I think. Didn't I? Yes. To cut out our um, gang. So I'm going to put all that through the big shot and then I'll be back. Okay, so all our bits are cut out. So I'm going to stick this greeting to our copper, I mean, not copper, gold foil. I'm just going to do that with some snail. I just love the way everything coordinates and mats so beautifully and then I'm going to bring back our um, actually first let's do this next bit first before we do any more sticking our piece of um, wrapped in plaid 
designer series paper and now I'm going to show you something wonderful our new trimmer look at this it is brilliant um, it's open at the moment for demonstrators to order one each only one and then beginning of November we'll get told when customers will be able to order it but it is amazing it cuts like butter it is brilliant and it scores so beautifully the old trimmer I never used for scoring because I felt it just didn't give a nice score line it didn't give a crisp easy to see score line this is wonderful so and as many people know I'm a metric girl um, I do do a lot of my boxes in inches and stuff that's mainly because the scoreboard is in inches there is a metric plate but it doesn't score down like to a quarter of a centimetre which sometimes you need so we do the inches but I, I don't like inches I didn't grow up in inches and um, I, I struggle with it because again I'm actually if anyone doesn't know by um by training I'm a molecular biologist actually and therefore I learned everything in metric and of course you know when you're doing you know when you're calculating solutions and stuff we're using metric measurements not inches so I just haven't got used to it so I love this anyway so a piece of get back to crafting after all that waffle um, we've got our wrapped and played designer series paper which as I said measures 14.85 um, centimeters by 11 and a half centimeters now on this 11 and a half centimeter side you're going to want to score it at one centimeter and this is made so easy here and the score is the light gray so Let's move the cutting blade out the way it's a light gray and you just want to score it a few times and that's it and it scores it beautifully now as you can see we've got measurements down the center here and all these lines coming down and this makes figuring out and making sure everything is straight beautifully easy if you'd like me to do a demonstration with this new trimmer then leave me a message in the comments below and I'll do that for you no problem at all so let me know. Are you excited for the new trimmer? I am. I think it's marvellous. Anyway, setting that aside, we've got our score line here and I'm just going to fold it on a score line and just burnish it to make sure it's nicely folded. So now, what we're going to do, this is our bit that's going to come over here. So we want to put snail on this strip here between the edge and the score line okay and I've got snail as usual everywhere anyway if there's any on the edges just tuck it in and you're just going to want to line this up it should be the same size as your base Okay, whoops, let me turn this over because I've got snail on the grid paper. It's not grid paper, lovely, it's got two sides, it's really nice paper. Okay, okay, so that's our one side. So now we're going to bring back our, um, what you call this, our um, little gang, and they're going to go here. But first we need to put our magnets down and I'm just using these very small magnets. I've got two of them here and I'm just going to stick it down using some tear and tape. Okay, so I just had to fix my mistake. You want the magnet actually to be more centre in the card so it'll get covered up by the sentiment. Let me stick that down. So now I've got the magnet around there. Okay, so close this and then it'll automatically find its friend again stick it down with some double sided tape, some tear and tape and now we are going to add our sentiment using some dimensionals so let's put some on the back here and because of the magnet again I'm going to be a bit generous with the dimensionals I'll do for now. You can put more if you want. There's no rule about how many dimensionals you can use or not use. 
Okay. Check I've got them all off. I have. And then see if I can get this as centre as possible. Yes, there we go. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. So if you open it up, you can see there's the gang. So it says Christmas greetings from the gang. And then you open it and there's the gang. Okay. Now to help people know to open it, I made a little ribbon pull. pull and I've just got here some of our lovely cherry cobbler, um, what's it called? Cherry cobbler diagonal stripe ribbon. And I'm just going to cut a little bit here. Okay, I stick this down at the top. And if you don't want it showing, you can just pull a little piece of paper and I'll show you. Just let me find my edge here of my tear and tape. So I'm just going to stick it down with some double sided tape. So when people see it, they know to just pull it up and then as you can see on this one to cover that up I just stuck a piece of designer series paper there to cover it up but I've forgotten to bring that up with me so we won't be covering it up today <laughs> you know but there we go so that's what we just made that's something we made before I think it's a real super cute idea you can see we just pull it up greetings from the gang and there's your gang so Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up so YouTube know. And don't forget to subscribe to future videos. If you want any information on the project, uh, it'll be on the blog post that goes with this. And the links to my website and all my social media links, including my Facebook group, are in the description box below. So until next time, enjoy being creative. Bye-bye.